All right, so in this video, I have the most expensive pair of sneakers that I've ever paid for, ever. And this is a crazy moment. It's kind of a crazy threshold for me to be able to, to cross the line on, but I decided to pull the trigger. And it was really because of you guys out there who helped support my sock release with Seth Fowler. With the proceeds from that release, it helped fund this pair of sneakers right here. So this is it, man. I can't wait to show you guys. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Hey, what is going on guys? Hess here. Hopefully you're having a good day out there. And if you guys are new to my channel and you guys enjoy sneakers, please consider subscribing. Also, if you guys want to look at any sneaker deals that I post for you guys over on Collective Kicks, I post it in the description of the video and just follow me on Twitter and Instagram. But this is the moment, man. This is a pair of sneakers that I wanted for a bit now. And honestly, I was like, there's no way I'm going to be able to afford these sneakers because at some point they were going for like 750s or so and I remember my friend's kid was asking if it was a good time to invest in those like to buy them I was like nah the prices I was hoping would go down sorry Chase for that one but a couple years later here I am buying the same exact shoe that I told him maybe it wasn't a good investment at that price point and I'm kicking myself for not buying it I dropped two thousand dollars on this shoe right here and it is one that is has like a lot of uh, extra like layers of meaning to it so this is why I bought them. But you can see right here, we have the Nike Air Jordan 3, South Korea joints right here with the flag on the tongue, uh, Nike Air branding on the back. This is one of those shoes that means a lot. Obviously I'm Korean for those that didn't know, but I'm actually adopted from Korea, so I don't have a lot of rich Korean heritage and stuff. It's always kind of been like a, a touchy spot for me, especially when I was one of two like Asian families that I knew of at the time up until like eighth grade. But I definitely am one of those people that have struggled with being adopted. It's been really hard to accept sometimes and you know, there's a lot of open-ended questions that you can never have answered. So uh, I don't want to get too deep, but I mean, honestly, that's why like having a familiar face like my son is like so important to myself because I have uh, somebody that actually finally looks like me, which is something I've never grew up with. But anyways, back to the sneakers, South Korea Air Jordan 3s. I mean, this is one of those shoes that just being of Korean descent, I was like, this is obviously one that I would love to have in my collection. If you guys didn't see recently on my channel, I actually unboxed these guys as well. So I got the Korea Dunks, which released last year. And then these released a couple years before. I don't actually remember the exact date. I'm not going to pull it out. But I ended up buying these for two $2,000. And it was really thanks to you guys and the support that you guys showed on the sock release that I did with Seth Fowler and Apothecary. Uh, because of that, it helped fund this transaction right here. Otherwise, I wouldn't have even thought about buying them because the price point was just really too out of reach. But again, because of you guys' generosity and buying the socks, I wanted to take that the funds of that and put it back into something that was meaningful to myself. The socks, if you didn't see, are South Korea inspired. Uh, they say family and then collective on the other one in black. But there's the friends and family one that has the Korean flag on them as well. So it was definitely like a sock release that I wanted to make that was kind of personal to myself that I could share with you guys. And hopefully I'm gonna work with Seth again in the future to create a different sock that is not like themed off of my heritage or anything like that. But anyway, back to that full circle moment. As soon as the socks dropped and then they sold out, uh, I was like super stoked and I knew I was gonna buy these so I instantly uh, pulled the trigger. The upper is just white tumbled leather and then you obviously have the elephant print around the toe and then also around the heel of the shoe which we all know and love from the Air Jordan 3. The eyelets on the shoe are actually done in black. The Nike Air branding on the back is also done in black. One tongue has a jump man, the other one does have the embroidered Korean flag. And then there's some Korean on the inside of the shoe. Honestly, I don't know what they say. If somebody knows what both of them say, leave a comment and let me know. Then you have an all white midsole and all white outsole, a white air unit. The heel liner of the shoe is done in red. And then around that you see leather that is done in blue. To be 100% honest, there's not a crazy amount of wow factor to the shoe other than obviously uh, the Korean flag on the tongue. There's no hidden details under the fold here. It doesn't glow in the dark. There's not anything like super crazy awesome about it. Even the leather quality is to be 100%, it's lackluster. It's like super cheap leather uh, on the upper here. So it's not like it's an amazing quality shoe. So is it worth two grand? Obviously not. Like the price point is absolutely ridiculous, but uh, it's one of those things that is just meaningful enough uh, to myself to be able to just add it to the collection and knowing that I have a pair of them uh, is pretty special to myself. And uh, again, I thank you to you guys for all the continued support uh, to be able to make this happen. And I'm super stoked to be able to add these and just have like a kind of a prized possession for myself in my collection. Also just Googling some information about the Korean flag for those that didn't know, there's a lot of symbolism behind uh, what the flag represents. It says the flag's field is white, which is basically 
basically a color that represents peace and purity. The circle on the flag center symbolizes balance in the universe. The red half represents positive cosmic forces and the blue half represents the opposing negative cosmic forces. Together, the trigrams around the circle in the middle represents movement and harmony as fundamental principles. Each of the trigrams represent one of the four classic elements. There's a lot of different ways these can be translated, but it sounds like it could be heaven, earth, moon, and sun. Spring, summer, winter, autumn, east, west, north, south, father, mother, son, daughter, heaven, earth, water, and fire, justice, vitality, wisdom, and fruition. So I like the symbolism behind the flag. It's something that I actually really uh, dig. But uh, these things are incredible, man. I had to throw these on immediately as soon as I got them home uh, because, I mean, the most expensive pair of sneakers I've ever bought, which is nuts. So the last pair of sneakers that was like the second most expensive pair, I believe, was... Uh, which is one I'm kicking myself for for letting go of now, but it was an off-white Air Jordan 1 sample of the European colorway, the white colorway. It was a really cool sample and I bought them uh, right around the time I bought this house actually, or a little bit after, and I was remodeling uh, my kitchen. So the sale of that shoe helped basically fund part of the remodel for my kitchen. So it went to a greater cause, uh, something that we use every single day, but sad to see that one go. I definitely got a nice uh, return for what I paid for them, but if I would have kept them and I mean, they'd be worth probably 20 grand or something like that now because obviously um, RIP Virgil, but it would be a pair that I wouldn't even want to try to capitalize on just given his current situation. That's the second most expensive pair that I've ever paid for. So this is that number one spot now with $2,000. Leave a comment in the comment section. What would you buy if you had two grand to drop on just one sneaker? Let me know what you guys would cop because it seems like there's a good amount of stuff for like the $1,000 mark, but that $2,000 mark and above is definitely where things get a little bit crazy. And this is a shoe that really jumped from like 700 to... 15, 13, and then I was gonna try to get it at 17, and then I just ended up pulling the trigger at two, uh, just to try to get them. And now I have a little bit of Tokyo action along with uh, Korea with my Jordan lineup, which I'm super stoked about. I know these ones were actually worth more than these, but I actually got these ones gifted to me for those wondering. And for those that are newer to my channel, this is a yellow toast sample. So this one actually never released like this. This is a special sample that I got gifted to me uh, from uh, back in the day, the Tokyo Air Jordan 5s. If these did like a mass release, I'm curious to see uh, how many people would still like them or not. Like the Raging Bulls release and not, not a lot of people were really flocking to those now. Uh, but I do feel like the Raging Bull 5s are still going to go up long term because it's just such a like a fire colorway. But anyways, drop a comment on what pair of sneakers you would get for $2,000. I know uh, it's not something that I'm comfortable with. It's not something I would say, yeah, go spend so much money on a pair of sneakers. It's not something that I really pride myself on because I've always tried to buy at retail from historically speaking. And then as the sneaker market has evolved in the last like decade, like you just kind of have to adjust, unfortunately, to the new rules. And it's not the same as it used to be back when I used to go to the Nike employee store and get the Jordans for half price that ended up releasing uh, in every single retro that I wanted to get, no problems. Uh, but now it's like, you know, struggle to even get a, a GR, let alone get something that's somewhat limited or a collaboration. Uh, it, so anyway, sometimes you have to pay to play. And this is one uh, that I am so thankful for you guys uh, because uh, now I was able to pay to play uh, to, to get these things. And of course I could have used my own money to do this, but it's not something I would have done. The extra kickback that I got from the socks was uh, just enough for, for me to go, yep, I need to do this. It's just, it was meant to be. So I do appreciate y'all for supporting the channel. You guys rock. And uh, that's all I have for this video. I haven't been posting every single day. I've had a lot of stuff come up. My wife has been actually really sick with pneumonia, which has been nuts. She's getting better now, but it was to the point where we had to go to the ER. Like it wasn't too fun uh, a couple weeks ago. So I've uh, been trying to keep up on the content. I got a lot of stuff coming your guys' way though that I have been neglecting to get to you guys. So hopefully you guys uh, enjoy. And then if you guys would like to subscribe, hit that bell notify you when uh, my next videos get posted. But stay tuned, I got some fun ones coming uh, your guys' way. Have a good rest of the day. And uh, again, thank you guys uh, for uh, the constant support. All right, peace guys.